cannot escape. Suspiria. Suspiria is directed by Daria Argento and it is the original 1977 that I'm going to be talking about today. Suspiria is one of my favorite Italian horror films of all time. The reason why I like Italian horror movies, it, they're just so vibrant and violent, especially in Suspiria. That's definitely the case here, but something about Italian giallos, um, which is what Daria Argento is known for, they're known for being very ballsy in their filmmaking. They don't care about the certain things that they show when in America at that time um, around 1977, we were getting things like, like Halloween, you know, that was about to come out. We haven't really seen anything as violent as we do in Suspiria. Susie is the main character. She is coming to this ballet school in Germany. The opening scene is a death. This woman literally, I won't spoil anything, but it's an amazing death, the way they set it up, and the mystery surrounding what's going on at this ballet school. Going back to Dario Argento, like I said in my Demons review, he's kind of known as like the master macabre. He's known for giallo films, and giallo just kind of refers to the old crime thriller books that they used to make and they have like these yellow covers. I'm pretty sure like giallo just kind of refers to the color yellow. The reason why I love Suspiria so much is that it feels so hyper stylized. Reality is totally out the window in this movie. The colors in this movie are just incredible. I mean they look beautiful. The sets look beautiful. The colors in this movie, you actually see a lot of reds, a lot of blues, and greens. That seems to be the common color choice that they kind of go between. You only see it really at the nighttime scenes. You know, during the day, it's just lit normally. You feel this sense of security and safeness, but as soon as it goes to nighttime, you get this red, just overwhelming color tone, which makes it feel like, oh my god, we are in a nightmare. How do you not like that? It's just like, it's so pleasing to the eye that, you know, especially as a film lover, you just, you can't, you look at the frames in this movie and you just think like, wow, that looks amazing. The blood in this movie too looks like red paint, just a, a complete crimson red. It's trying to match this hyper stylized world that Argento creates. We're not in a world of reality, not unless it's daytime. When it's nighttime, things are going down for real. Like that Flo Rida song. The acting isn't really what you come to these movies for. You kind of come for the spectacle and for the atmosphere and for the visuals. Not to say that you don't want good acting in your horror movies, but this is kind of like an afterthought in Italian horror. Also, in Italian horror movies, especially in Argento's case, in a lot of his films, he's got actors that are from different regions, so uh, they're speaking in their own native language. So he lets them just speak in that language when he's filming the movie, and then afterwards he dubs them depending on what region the movie's going to. So you could kind of see that the dubbing in some of the parts is a little off. The underlying themes of the movie it talks about the darkness of motherhood. It's so haunting to think about when you really sit and put things together after you watch the movie. I'm not going to spoil anything about it. The only other time where I feel like the dark themes of motherhood have been really tackled well in horror movies has been in Darren Aronofsky's mother with Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem. This movie is a classic for me. It's a must watch in that spooky season. It will make you think a little bit and you will need to rewatch it a few times to be able to understand it fully. I still need to rewatch it multiple times, especially if you are a film nerd. You could learn so much from this movie and from a lot of Argento's work. I'm going to give Suspiria a four out of five stars. It's a really great horror movie. I hope you enjoyed the review for it. Stay tuned for the next day of my 31 days of horror and I'll see you guys in the next one.